think all engine oils are the same. Think again. You know, using the right motor oil can give you an added 25 miles per gallon, while using the wrong one leads to overheating, sludge buildup, and even complete engine failure. So what are the right engine oils? Today I'll expose the biggest engine oil myths with the real facts. Stick around as I'll help you pick the right engine oil in the end. Number 1. Milky or Foamy Oil Ever checked your oil dipstick and noticed the oil looks dark? And thought, uh-oh, that must mean it's dirty and needs changing. Not so fast. Here is the fact. Black oil doesn't mean bad oil. It actually means it's doing its job, lubricating and cleaning your engine by picking up tiny dirt particles and leftover fuel burn. That's what keeps your engine running smoothly. Now, if the oil is thick like syrup, feels gritty, or smells burnt, that's a real problem. But just the color? That doesn't tell you much. Modern motor oils have special additives that help them last longer even when they turn dark instead of guessing follow your car's oil change schedule it's there for a reason want to be extra sure an oil test can tell you exactly how healthy your oil is we recommend changing your engine oil every 5,000 miles otherwise changing it too soon is just wasting money for no reason number two low grade oils in older engines Ever heard that synthetic oil causes leaks in older engines? This is false. Here's the fact. Some people think switching to synthetic oil will wash away dirt that's sealing small leaks in an old engine. But modern synthetic oils are made to work with all engines, old or new. The time has passed when early synthetic oils could shrink engine seals, further causing leaks. But today's oils are designed to protect seals, not damage them. Plus, they clean your engine better, helping it run smoothly. If an old engine starts leaking after switching to synthetic, the leaks were probably already there. The oil just made them easier to spot. No matter what oil you use, checking your engine and fixing leaks early is important. So don't blame synthetic oil. It's actually one of the best ways to keep your engine healthy. Number three, thicker motor oil. Sounds logical, right? But here's the fact, that's not how it works. Some people believe thicker oil creates a stronger barrier against friction and wear, especially in older cars or noisy engines. But oil viscosity isn't about thick or thin, it's about what's right for your engine. Using oil that's too thick can slow down flow, making it harder to reach important engine parts, especially in cold weather. On the other hand, oil that's too thin might not protect well at high temperatures. Modern engines are built with precise gaps and tight spaces, so using the wrong oil can hurt fuel economy, reduce efficiency, and even cause damage. If you think your engine needs a different oil, check your owner's manual or ask a mechanic. The best oil isn't the thickest, it's the one your engine was designed for. Number 4. Mix of Synthetic and Conventional Oils that's just a myth. Some people believe that once you start using synthetic or conventional oil, you're stuck with it forever. They worry that switching or mixing them will harm the engine or make the oil less effective. Here's the fact, you can switch between synthetic and conventional oil anytime, as long as the oil meets your car's required viscosity and performance standards. Modern oils are made to be compatible and many brands even sell blended oils that mix both types. The key is choosing the right oil for your engine, not whether it's synthetic or conventional. Not sure which one to use. Check your owner's manual or ask a mechanic, but don't stress, switching won't hurt your engine. Engine oil with additives. Many drivers believe pouring in extra additives will boost performance, improve fuel economy, or extend engine life. But here's the fact, modern motor oils already come with the right blend of detergents, anti-wear agents, and stabilizers. Adding more can actually throw off the balance and reduce oil effectiveness. Some additives can thicken the oil too much, making it harder to flow, while others can break down essential compounds in high-quality synthetic oils. Instead of improving performance, they might cause more sludge buildup, increase engine wear, or clog vital engine parts. Now, in some cases, like older engines burning oil or extreme driving conditions, certain additives may help, but they should only be used if recommended by a professional. Want the best protection for your engine? Stick with high-quality oil that meets your car's specifications. It already has has everything your engine needs. Ever wondered what the different types of motor oils are? Let's break it down in simple terms. Motor oils come in four main types, and each one works differently. 1. Conventional oil. This is the basic type of motor oil, made from natural crude oil with a few added chemicals to help keep your engine clean. It's the cheapest option, but it doesn't last as long and needs to be changed more often. It's best for older cars or light driving. 2. Synthetic Oil 
This oil is made in a lab to be cleaner and perform better. It protects your engine from heat, cold, and wear much better than regular oil. That's why it's used in newer and high performance cars. It's more expensive, but it helps your engine last longer. 3. Synthetic Blend Oil Think of this as a mix of regular and synthetic oil. It gives you better protection than conventional oil, but costs less than full synthetic. It's a great middle option for drivers who want extra protection without spending too much. 4. High Mileage Oil if your car has over 75,000 miles, this is the oil for you. It has special additives that help stop leaks, reduce engine wear, and keep older engines running smoothly. You can find it in regular synthetic or blended versions. Now, if you are struggling to understand those numbers on a motor oil bottle, let me help you. But before that, if you are enjoying this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This helps me bring you more honest car advice. Getting back, those numbers written on the motor oil bottles tell you about viscosity, which is just a fancy way of saying how thick or thin the oil is and how easily it flows. Think about it like this. Water flows fast, but honey moves slowly. That's because water has low viscosity, while honey has high viscosity. And just like honey gets thicker in the fridge, motor oil thickens in cold weather too. That's why oil is designed to be thin enough to flow when your engine is cold, but still thick enough to protect it once it heats up. The Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE, created a special grading system to measure this. Here's how it works. The first number, like 0W or 5W, tells you how well the oil flows in cold weather. The lower the number, the better it performs in winter. The second number, 30, 40, or 50, shows how thick the oil stays when the engine is hot. The higher the number, the better it protects at high temperatures. So, an oil labeled 5W30 flows well in the cold but still protects your engine when it heats up. Your car's manual will tell you which oil grade is best for your engine. Using the right one keeps it running smoother and longer. Still not sure which oil your car needs? With so many options out there, it can feel overwhelming, but finding the right oil is easier than you think. Here are four simple ways to figure it out. Check the oil cap, pop the hood, and take a look at the oil cap. Many cars have the recommended oil printed right on top. Read the owner's manual. Your car's manual has everything you need, the correct oil type, how much to use, and even extra tips for keeping your engine running smoothly. Ask the experts. Not sure where to look? Dealerships and auto parts stores can pull up your car's exact oil specs in seconds. Just tell them your make, model, and year, and they'll give you the right answer. Use a trusted repair guide. If you like to DIY, service manuals like Hanes, All Data, or Identifix have all the details, not just for oil, but for brakes, spark plugs, and other repairs too. So before you guess, check one of these sources. Following these car maintenance tips won't take much of your time, but using the right oil keeps your engine running longer and saves you from costly repairs down the road. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to watch this next video as we're sharing insider tips to help you cut repair costs and keep your car running like new.